This chap really amazed me. I confess my Scots accent is appalling, but I had a terrible problem keeping a straight face. Hello? Hello, is that Mr. Ralph Mellon? Yes, it my, is. my name's Richard Peasons. Yes? Uh, I'm secretary of the Milgay uh, Drama Club. Oh, yes. And Alan Simpson... Yes, yeah. ...has suggested your name, that you could possibly help us. I believe you are an impressionist. Well, uh, yeah, I have been known, yeah, to do the odd one or two, yes. We have, uh, we have a play coming up which features uh, impressions in it, and we need someone who can do really good impressions. Well, I don't know about really good impressions, but I can certainly... Which ones do you do, Mr Mellon? Uh, well, uh, a Halloween disco, you know, a Halloween sort of uh, Aye. dance thing. I went as David Bellamy. That could be useful. We have a we have a a use for that. Could you give me a burst of that? Well, uh, would you like me to say anything in particular? Uh, no, no. If you just give me a burst down the phone, it'll give me an idea whether you're the man for the job. Okay. Well, this is a really tremendously interesting specimen. Really tremendously interesting in the great mangrove swamps and the great Bolivian jungles of the world. How's that? That's excellent. That is excellent. Uh, Mr. Simpson said you do Prince Charles. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, I've, I've tried. It was him that started me off doing Prince Charles, as a matter of fact. Sorry? It was him that started me off doing Prince Charles, as a matter of fact, because he can do him. Give me a bust of Prince Charles, that'd be very topical. Okay, right. Well, I must say that when I heard that she was prepared to take me on, I mean, I was really thrilled about it. I mean, when one, when one considers it, when one I takes see. it all into account, I think... It's really tremendous. That's very good. That's ve that's that's better than your David Bellamy, if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, yeah. What what about this uh, Murray Walker? Yeah, I used to do Murray. You know the racing commentator. Aye, the I guy who always gets it wrong. And neurotic, I know. Aye. Yeah, I used to do him, but uh, for some reason I seem to have lost it a bit. I oh. can't do him so well now. So. Uh, Give it a go. Well, I'll need to shout, so you better sort of stand back from the phone. Okay, I'm standing back. Okay. Well, this is the South African Grand Prix of 1981. The cars are just set to line up, and I remind you that the turbocharged cars are... That's very good. Just a minute. Can I just stop you there? That's very good. Just do it again, and I'll make racing car noises, and just see if it sounds a wee bit better. Just do that again. OK. Well, we are ready for the start of the South African Grand Prix of 1982. I think that's good. That's very good, Ralph. Yeah, yeah, I'll need to practice Murray Walker, though, because uh, I can't quite get it as good as I used to be able to do it. That's excellent. Look, I tell you what, we... Yeah, I, can, we... I, I can do David Attenborough as well. Can you? Yeah. Well, maybe another time. Can you make a note of my name and we better get together and talk about uh, how we're going to use you? Certainly, OK. Have you got the pen? Yes. Right, did, did you get my name? Uh, could you just spell it for me, please? Aye. N O E L E D M O N D S. Wait a minute, am I on Radio One? <laughs> I better not be. <laughs> Good morning, Ralph. Um... <laughs> Hello. Hello. Alan Simpson wrote to me and suggested it might be rather a good idea to hear your impressions. Ready? <laughs> I'll kill him. You know, it's incredible how many people publicly threaten murder. <laughs>